the smell of the drinking water, the government supplying in Wakenham makes you want to vomit. During the holidays, I visited Wakenham where I born and grew up. And after having a healthy and beautiful meal, I went to wash my hands. And if I didn't have a good stomach, all that lovely food I eat would have come out in the sink. The color and the smell of the water reminds me of the smell you get when paddy is being soaked to make seedlings in boxes and in the trenches. Man, it's so stink that the people cannot wash their wares or pots what they eat and cook in. The residents using the trench water rather than the pipe water to wash their clothes and utensils. That's how stink and dirty the water is. That this government, this government have its citizens paying for. When this was being discussed over we boxing day drinks, one of my school friends said, Glenn, this ain't bad. Come to Tushin on the west coast of Demerara and see the water there for yourself. Guys, this country has so much manganese that they were craving for to purify their drinking water and our politicians giving it away free and can't get back some of the refined products to purify our water for our people in exchange. Can you believe that? I am smiling. You know why, guys? It's like you own gold fields with tons of gold inside and you can't afford to wear a fine gold chain wrong, wrong your neck. You're wearing silver and copper chains instead. Or it's like you have the best mango trees in your yard and you can only eat the ones that fall long on the ground because your neighbor's using their hands to pick and eat the best and getting rich off of it. This is how your country is being managed and run. The Chinese fetching out our manganese by the shiploads every month out of Matthews Ridge. And our people drinking stinking water. Could you believe this? Apart from clean air, clean water, and electricity, Uncle, is the two most vital, basic, important things for mankind to survive on. <laughs> the richest and fastest growing country on earth today, Guyana, can't give its citizens those basic things. This insanity has been happening all over Asia and Africa for decades now. Their wealth disappearing out of their hands into foreign people, bank account. <laughs> and hundreds of millions of them can't get a clean glass of water to drink. I've been there and see it for myself. Guyana is heading there. Please, I am begging you, it's 2023. Say something, do something before it's too late. Please look at the many more TikToks I did and look forward for more. Have a nice 2023.